All right, and hey there, Pause Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Dark Cloud 2 Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we had a very big, huge, lengthy cutscene that was happening throughout this whole entire chapter of Chapter 6. But also, too, not only that, but we had a very big, long type of battle that was happening out here with just Emperor Griffin, the first phase form of our time within the Griffin's Castle, which I have to say was just absolutely annoying. Uh, I don't know what the heck, but it just seems like the right pod just wasn't doing a lot of damage but you know what after so many times uh we finally was able to go and get this whole area all finished and done with see a, a big huge cutscene uh with emperor griffin and him trying to literally create some sort of paper mario 64 type of event that was happening with him trying to raise up the castle up the ground and all this other crazy stuff that was happening and then all of a sudden now we're finally here in this big huge open field and i don't know what's gonna happen around out here and i feel a little bit terrified if we have to run into another boss battle or something but you know what let's just go and finally kind of walk around here and let's get into another cutscene because I think there's still more that's going to be happening because I know that he's... Something terrible has happened! What is it? Somehow this palace has returned to the present. It can't be! What is Griffin planning now? doing oh man let's get out of here right we need a new plan is that conda and the others this looks like some kind of ruins I'm following Elena's instructions she said to land here here it is I'll set it up listen carefully Max something truly terrible has happened Incredible, but somehow Griffin has shown up in your time. If he continues, he could go through time, destroying each era in turn. So what should we do? 
The only way to stop Griffin is to attack his palace with our fortress, Pasnos. But it's not like we could just bring Pasnos to this time period. There is a way. You're kidding! At the place where you are now, Kazarov Stonehenge, there is a unique convergence of space-time flow. We must make a Chrono Union there. Chrono Union? It's when time and space envelop each other. We have to make an area where your time and my time will both exist in the same place. If we can do that, then we can send Posnos to your time from here. That's really possible? Yes, the Ancient Ones knew the secret, and Luna Labs deciphered it from their wall murals. We don't have much time. Let's get to it. There should be four stone pillars standing there in Kazarov. I see them! In each pillar there is a hole. The holes are there to receive four colored gems. Put a gem in each one of the holes, and it's possible to make a Chrono Union. But where do I find these gems? The four gems are hidden somewhere in your world. In the forest, the valleys, the sea, or in the mountains. Go to all the places you've ever been and search for those gems. They're definitely there somewhere. There is a key for getting the gems from where they're hidden. The key is hidden in the center of Stonehenge, where you are now. And there we go. So it looks like we got ourselves with our very first key for one of these, I guess, type of gems that are going to be happening. So that's pretty nice. That's it. Now, if you find doors that open with that key, you're sure to find the gems. Okay, I've got it. We'll head out and find them. Even now, Griffin is starting his rampage again. Hurry, Max. Well, oh great. So it looks like we have to go back to all the previous other different worlds and try to search for these gems. Now you can jump to any place you like, in this time or the future, by using the Ixion's time travel system. With the Atlamelia stolen, the Ixion is our only means of time travel. And you can control the time travel system by remote, too. If it's a place with a time gate, you can go directly into the future, just like before. Use it carefully. Awesome! Convenient and cool! Well, so where to first? Remember the star symbols we've seen around? Maybe those symbols mark where the gems are. What do you think? Yeah. I think you're right. Let's go. Okay, and with that being said in mind, we can now finally go to the different places that we've been to in the past. Well, yeah, been through in our past time throughout this whole entire series. Now, if you guys recall, uh, remember when we went and headed through, let's say, through like the Balanced Valley area or like through the Heim Rida place? Remember like those type of paths that we kind of saw from before, but it wasn't really leading us into that direction. It was kind of like taking us into like the actual main story. Well, now since we do have this star key, I 
I think, in tow right now. We can now go and head to those star symbol areas. And we've seen them before, and it just has some sort of weird type of force field around it, which we can never actually be able to go ahead and, well, literally head on over towards to. But let's go and finally uh, head back over here to the Ixion, and I guess we can go and uh, finally uh, time travel our way into the next uh, location because i would like to go and hopefully try to head on over maybe towards to the uh to the furbit area which was pretty cool which i have to say that the furbits did really help out within that whole griffin battle with the carpenterian and everything so i wonder uh can we go ahead inside because like i would because uh, like i would, might actually try this whole thing out and seeing how like see how cool that this would actually be like in here but here we go. So now we get to see that this is our new upgraded train at this point. So this is actually pretty nice. Now, I don't really want to go into like too much detail, but I guess for right now, let's just kind of just head into the move area. And I wonder if this will probably just take us right to it. Oh, and there you guys get to see that there is that uh, floating big, huge Griffin castle that's up in the sky there, which I'm pretty certain that that's where we have to go and head on over towards to. But I, I want to say that Sedane is going to be in the next area for our time. So let's just go and uh, head on over to here and uh, reach on over to Sedane. And we'll kind of have to see where the split in the path is going to be at. Because if we can go and find where that split in the path is going to be, that is where one of the gemstones should probably be located. And I think we do have a little bit of time to kind of figure out exactly on what we do need to do here. Now, I know that there's a few things that we have missed out within Sedane. And I will try and see if I can at least maybe do a 100% complete run or something on that. But not going to go and really bother about right now at this point in time. But it kind of sucks that since we don't have Cedric at this point in time, we have to go and head back over to uh, Heim Rida and go and talk back to him just for us to go and uh, get our Rypod all repaired up because I do need that to make sure for that to go on and happen. Okay, but here we are. Here's the Butterfly Woods. And I need to figure out where the split in the path is at. Ah, here it is right here. Yeah, and if you guys remember, there was a few different other areas that we had missed out. So, in the next episode, we'll head on over to this one, heading back right back over here to the Legendary Killer Snake. I'll take care of this off recording and open it up the way for us uh, within the next episode. So, we'll actually start right here in this uh, general facility, and we'll try and conquer out with these uh, four other different dungeons. And uh, I don't think I'm going to really bother about like doing anything off recording or whatnot. We'll make sure that we'll go and uh, actually head through the actual dungeons that are going to be here for those missions because it doesn't really seem like they're not going to be all that too bad hopefully not but uh let's just go and uh move back to the sedane station and i'll end things off here so i'll see you guys in the next one and of course peace